And then some refuse Christ because of the church. How many times I hear the word, well, the church is full of hypocrites. Well, there's hypocrites in every area of life. I was born and reared on a dairy farm and we sold milk and we would distribute the milk to the various customers and we'd get up early in the morning, send our little dairy trucks out and I would milk the cows and sometimes I'd go on the truck and uh, we had several dairies in our area and so the, when the price of milk got so low, the farmers began to put water in the milk. Now they were hypocrites in the milk business, but that did not mean that they were not some real ones. My father would never stoop to such a thing as that. Now the one requirement for membership in the church is that you are unworthy to be a member. Christ himself founded the church. The church is made up of sinners that have been saved by the grace of God. There's no such thing as a perfect church. If you find a perfect church and you join it, it becomes imperfect. The church is for fellowship. The church is for strengthening our faith. The church has many things that it can contribute to you. But there's another reason that we sometimes say we don't want to come to Christ. We don't want to pay the price. If you want an education, you'll deny anything to get it. If you want wealth, you'll give up all sorts of things to attain it. Now God gave the very best he had for you. The scripture says he spared not his own son. The scripture says the world passes away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abides forever. What shall it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And then there are other young people that are afraid of being misunderstood and ridiculed, do not want to be in such a small minority. The Bible teaches that there may be persecution. There will be. You will be misunderstood. You will be an outsider in many groups. In, and peer pressure is so powerful today in the various school levels, whether it's the university or whether it's the high school. The Bible teaches that you may be an outsider and you may have to seek some new friends because one of the things that happens is when you come to Christ, you enter a whole new social world and you will find that you will have brothers and sisters in every country of the world. It's a great fraternity that we join when we come to Christ. And it may not be just Episcopalians or Baptist or Methodist or Pentecostalist or Presbyterians or Catholic. It may be we just are Christ ones. I've been all over, the, well, not all over the world, but many parts of the world. And I've met people that were absolute strangers to me. But the moment we met, we were brothers. You might not be invited to certain parties. You might not be invited to certain things. And you may have to pay a price for a little while till you make new friends among believers. But the Apostle Paul said, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. That's a part of the cost. It's not easy to follow Christ in 1991 in America. It's hard. It costs something. And then there are many young people that just put it off. You say, I'm going to wait till another time. Proverbs 27 says, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for you know not what a day will bring forth. The scripture says, Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation.